Hello and welcome or welcome back to my kitchen. Eight Mabarak in advance if you're celebrating, um, whether you are or not. I hope you have a lovely day anyway. Um, so for this one, I'm going to be making something a little bit special for Eid. I say special, it's a classic special sweet dish called baklava. I'm sure that you know it very, very well. And in the spirit of Eid, I'm wearing my mom's galabiya, which is the most comfortable thing ever. Um, anyway, so for this one, I'm just going to be making a classic pistachio baklava um, but to go with it because obviously baklava is very sweet um, I thought it would be nice to have something kind of light and fresh on the side so I'm going to be making a little cream with um, coconut milk like a kind of whipped cream kind of thing uh, and basically with this coconut milk I've just had it in the fridge overnight um, I've just got it upside down because I'm going to use a little a handy dandy little can opener here to open it upside down so that I can get rid of the um, water and just be left with the actual thick coconut milk uh, and I'm just going to whisk that to make a kind of cream um, and basically with the bowl I'm using I've actually just had this in the fridge for just about an hour um, just to kind of have the cream nice and chilled so that it doesn't just totally melt while I'm whisking it so before that all gets too warm I'm just going to get into it and just let that chill in the fridge while I make the actual baklava and um, so yeah let's get into it I'm just starting off by getting rid of that coconut water. You could use this for smoothies and stuff, so you don't need to get rid of it. Um, and now I'm just scooping out that thick kind of coconut milk that I was left with, as you can see. Um, okay, so if you have an electric whisk beater thing, that would be really handy at this point, but I obviously didn't. So I'm just using my little normal whisk here um, and a spoon to help me scoop everything out because it was getting stuck in the whisk um, and you can see that I was struggling a little bit it was it took a little bit of <laughs> muscle work uh, but basically it just took me about 10 minutes to whisk this until it became a nice kind of soft cream um, so just be a little bit patient if you don't have an electric whisk like me uh, and I'm just adding in just about half of a teaspoon of ground cardamom and just about a teaspoon of vanilla extract as well And then I'm just giving that a final little whisk. It looks so aggressive fast forwarded, but I'll show you it not fast forwarded as well, as you can see here, just to kind of see the consistency of it. It's obviously softened really nicely. Um, and I'm just gonna smooth it out a little bit. And I'm just gonna stick that in the fridge to kind of just sit and chill out while I prepare the actual baklava. Moving on to the syrup, I'm adding about two cups of sugar. Um, and about one cup of water to this saucepan and I've just got it on high heat because I'm going to bring that to a boil um, and I'm also adding a cardamom pod that I just kind of bit into to kind of open it up um, and just a little squeeze of lemon you really don't need much lemon at all because you don't want the flavour of lemon just a little bit to kind of thicken it apparently apparently that's what it does um, yeah and I've just brought that to a boil as you can see and I just let that boil for about 10 minutes or so um, but I mean you'll see at the end it's still very thin I didn't want it to thicken up really um, see that that was it at the end after about 10 minutes still a very nice thin syrup so I'm gonna just leave that to the side to chill um, while I prepare everything else so I'm just showing you the butter that I'm using here it's this vegan block I don't know why I got this one it's a little bit fancy but um, it's a nice one I'd recommend it um, and I'm just showing you another option here this is the one I normally use it's more like a spread rather than a butter um, which was the nice thing about this one it's more of like a thick kind of butter if that makes sense anyway I'm just um, melting that on my little saucepan here so that I can spread it on top of the pastry as you will see in a bit and now I'm just showing you the pistachios that I'm gonna use um, it was these ones here, just from Lidl, uh, and I just obviously de-shelled them um, the night before, so I'm just gonna stick those into my little um, blender uh, mixer thing, uh, and I'm just adding about a tablespoon of sugar, obviously I don't want to add too much sugar because I'm gonna add a whole bunch of syrup later on, uh, and I'm just blitzing that in my little food processor thing, shaking it in between to try and make sure it was kind of even, um, and I realised that actually was better to pulse it rather than straight up blend it um, and obviously you don't want this to turn into a kind of pistachio dust you still want little bits of pistachio in it and um, a bit of texture so I'll show you the kind of texture consistency of it that I ended up with 
beautiful. Um, and I've just, as you can see, left a little bit in there because I want to um, blitz up the pistachio that I'm going to be topping the baklava with at the end because I want that to be a bit finer, as you can see. Uh, and now I'm, I didn't do a very good job of showing you the packaging uh, or the feel pastry that I'm using, but basically I'm just showing you the ingredients as well. Um, so that you know I didn't mess up like in the Borek video and it's definitely egg and dairy free um, so if you're plant based don't worry about that and this is how it comes just with this kind of plastic sheet um, around it I'm just opening it up uh, and obviously you'll probably know feel pastry is quite delicate so just kind of be careful with it when you're opening it up and taking it apart because um, you'll see in a wee minute that when I did take it apart I ripped it a little bit so just be careful about that and as you can see, it's quite a long um, sheet, so I'm just halving it so that I can just use the halved sheets so that it's not a massive baklava. Okay, and I'm just adding my sheets to a lined baking tray. You probably didn't need to line it, to be honest. But um, anyway, so I'm just, you can see I ended up having three, so I'm just separating it so that it's just one pastry sheet, and I'm just adding that butter spreading on there and basically I'm going to be layering the pastry so that it's four pastry sheets in total and um, adding butter on top to each one in between um, so yeah it takes just a little bit of patience because it gets kind of stuck and I was trying to get it even but it doesn't need to be perfect just as long as it's pretty much even um, and once I had four pastry sheets, I'm adding in the filling at this point, just that pistachio crumb filling that I blitzed up before. And after I've added that, I'm going to add eight, do the same as before, but I'm adding eight pastry sheets rather than four. So it's basically just double the amount of pastry sheet that I used at the bottom. I'm going to be adding on top, of course, with the butter in between as well. Um, and you can be generous with the butter to make a very delicious baklava. It's it's Eid after all. Um, anyway, so I'm just uh, slicing this up now. Um, you can do whatever kind of shape you like. I just went for this kind of diagonally baklava shape. And then just turning it so that I can slice it diagonally the other way. I don't know why, but to be honest, it took me a while to figure out how to <laughs> slice it into these little baklava pieces but I got there eventually um, and you want to make sure you want to try to make sure that you're cutting through all of the pastry sheets so that it's easier to take it apart once it's done uh, and basically once I sliced that I stuck it in the oven that was preheated to 200 degrees for just about 12 minutes and you can see how it came out beautiful and golden Yeah, and I'm just trying to kind of evenly um, pour that syrup on top of there and I'm just adding in just the final little touch, the um, pistachio, the, the thinner one that I blitzed up before um, and yeah, it looks very beautiful. And of course, when you're serving up, don't forget about that coconut cream that we made before. Um, to be honest, I don't know what I was trying to do here. I was trying to do like a nice little scoop, but obviously the cream was quite thin, so it wasn't really working. I could have just used one spoon to um, scoop it on on top. Um, but yeah, it was a lovely little addition to this baklava, in my opinion. And I'm just adding a little bit of a little bit more pistachio just to make it look beautiful. Thank you so so much for watching this video, I really hope that you enjoyed the recipe. Um, like I said, I just thought that that coconut cardamom cream would be lovely along with the sweetness of the baklava. Of course you could add a little bit of sugar to it if you like, even if you're using it for a different recipe. Um, but because, as you saw, there's loads of sugar in the baklava, so I just kept it unsweetened to balance everything out nicely. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited to eat this later on. I'm almost totally sure that it's going to be really, really good. Do let me know if you try it. Let me know if you have any requests. And take care of yourself. Thanks a lot. Bye.